Hey everyone, Jay's here again back with a video tutorial. Today in this video tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to join multiple video files together using this piece of software you see in front of me, Case Video Joiner 7.0. Okay, uh, so what I'm going to do, I'll, I'll show you where to get the software, um, how to use it, and I'm going to show you the end result and explain a little bit about it. Okay, uh, so first and foremost, in order to find this piece of software here, go to your favorite internet browser, I'm going to use Firefox and Google here. And uh, go ahead and open up your browser, and you want to just type in in your in the search engine, Kate's uh, video joiner. Give it a minute, maybe to load if it's the internet or the yeah internet is um, slow. Excuse any typing mistakes. Go ahead and search for it, and uh, in your favorite browser, as I said. And once you do so, um, give it a minute or two here. Let's see. Okay, once you do so, you want to be able to click. On uh, the first option that should come up, it's, it is CNET.com um, download. Um, CNET.com is a great kind of review site. People can review um, the piece, piece of software on, and you can see it's got three stars. Um, pretty good, pretty good for a video joiner. So you want to go ahead and click on that, uh, um, click on that link, and here is the download the download web page. Here you have uh, some basic information. I want to get into this first of all. Um, this piece of software is for Windows, Windows XP, Windows 2003, Vista 7 and 8 is what it's is what uh, is what is made for basically. Um, it is made by Web Solution Mart or, or from Web Solution Mart rather. Um, big thing that a lot of video joiners don't have. The reason I like this piece of software here is it supports all the major um, all the major application formats that you want to convert and get videos into such as AVI, WMV, Move, MPEG, um, and DVD as well and uh, MP4 as well and also it also supports PAL and NTSC for international formats as well so a great very functional piece of software um, very versatile um, Another thing that um, the reason why I'm looking into this piece of software though and the reason we kinda want to spotlight it is because in the, in the past I have reviewed um, and kind of spotlighted um, FreeMake Video Converter, and this this piece of software can also j convert and join files together. The one problem, and I got a comment on YouTube about this that got me thinking about this, was um, you cannot preview your files within FreeMake Video Converter. Um, and you know, let's say you know you don't you're unsure what you have, you cannot preview things before you convert it. You have to convert it and then play it back, which really is not a big deal. But this saves a little bit of time. Does this program here? Um, as, as you can go down on the website, you see there's reviews um, and why not? You can you can read this read through this yourself. But in this case, I want to make this short. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead rather and hit download um, to download the piece of software and install it. Once it is installed, go ahead and open it up. And the first thing you're going to see, um, in my case, I've already done this. But the first thing you already see when you open up the software first for the first time is going to ask you for an email. Um, don't be turned off by this. This piece of software is completely free. It's a free piece of software. Um, but this, what this does, and what this um, email box is going to want you to do, is just register and have a license with the company. Again, this is totally free. It's just for their records, um, and uh, they, they just want to keep record of your email. And by by typing in your email, it's going to bring you to the internet. They ask you to like your like the Facebook page. You can you can like the page, but you don't have to. Um, either way, we'll get you a license, and you can view the license once you open up the program. By going here to license, license key, and scrolling over that, and uh, your email and a license will be there. Um, so very, very interesting way they have of keeping track, but I think it's well worth it, and don't be scared off by this. Okay, uh, once you have done that, um, and you open up the open up the uh, program again here, the, the program is very basic. That's something I, I do like about it. A lot of a lot of other joiners that I have are very cluttered. And that I've, that I've tried in the past, rather very cluttered here. This one only has a file um, file option here where you can add your file and you can exit the program. And you have settings you can you can browse through. You can change the uh, change the settings here from you know AVI, MPEG, WMV, QuickTime, DVD, and a couple other DVD options here. You can restore the settings as well. Here's your license your license information um, and the help information as well. Um, like I said, the one thing though that the I think sets this piece of software apart is the is the preview pane. I'll get to this in a minute here. Here's your preview pane. You have add. You can remove and clear content and move things up and down once you have this. You can also like select the output format in which you want to, um, you know, which which you want which the format you want to 
the ending format in which you want your file to uh, to be placed into. You know, um, and here's your preview pane, your preview option. I'll get to that in a minute. You can also load um, the preview in another um, application, such as you know Windows Media or QuickTime as well. Here's an advanced tab. Of course, there's your join option. Okay, uh, so let's get right to this here. We um, go ahead and hit add and browse for your uh, files here. It may take a minute to load, so you may want to be patient with it, as I as I have to be. So let me give it a minute or two here. Let it load. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay, once it finally loads, like I said, again, it might take a while depending on how many files you have, the size and whatnot. Don't be discouraged by this. Um, browse for your files. As you can see, I have four uh, files that I want to do. I recommend saving your files even either on an external um, you know, hard drive, a USB drive. Um, I, I do recommend though saving them on your desktop if you're going to have them on your computer for easy access. Um, but that's just that's just commonplace for me. That's what I like to do. You can do whatever you wish. Um, so go ahead and once you have found your files, um, select them. Select any of them. I'm going to select all four of these and hit open. Okay. And by doing so, it it puts the files into the program into your little uh, menu here. As you can see, all these all these options that were that were whited out before are now activated. Here's your remove, your clear, your up or your down. You can remove. Let's say I want to move part four, I want to move it up, I can do it like that. So that's, it's very simple. Um, by clicking preview here, and you may give this a moment as well, you can actually preview your files within this, win within this window here. So I can go, I can go and, you know, start from one, and then continue all, all the way down, just see how things look, which I think is a, is obviously a plus uh, for this piece of, for this piece of software being that it's free, um, obviously. Um, okay, and once you have everything set up the way you want, now you can choose your output format. If you're going to burn something to a um, DVD, I do recommend either putting it in AVI or WMB Windows um, movie format. Um, I'm going to keep it in this case. As you can see, everything that I have imported is WMB. I'm just going to leave it WMB for the output. Um, you can change it however you wish. Um, but I'm going to keep it the way it is. And once you have that all set up, you want to hit join. And uh, one, by doing that, they give it a minute as well. Um, it's going to ask ask you and bring up bring up a dialog box for for the location in which you want to save your new larger um, joined file. Um, it, is, it has not joined the file yet, but it's just it's just asking you for the uh, save location in advance. So again, I recommend saving the saving the joined lo the the joined the finished product the soon to be finished product on your desktop for uh, safekeeping, and you can then move it to wherever you want after. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my desktop. I'm going to change the file name here to um, what I want to save it to. Host family movie and I'm going to put one after it and uh, go ahead and hit save once you have your file typed in um, as you can see you can also change the type here I believe as well or you can view by type rather and make you know see if you have any duplicates or whatnot go ahead and hit, go ahead and hit save and um, then you may give it a minute as well but it's going to process your um, request it's going to create a new file as you can see on my desktop right here and it will process it and go through it um, and join the file together as you can see the progress um, will be shown when there, when there is progress right here and um, once it is done um, you can you can then I believe play the file and or close the program out and then view the file and if if you want to make any changes I recommend leaving the program open to make any changes and uh, you go from there so and you can upload it to social media wherever you want to do with it that's basically how to join files together using this free piece of software, Case Video Joiner 7.0. I think it's a great piece of software to have on your computer, um, regardless of how many times you use it. I think it's, it's something that everybody should have, um, you know, just 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 in case you never know. So that's it for this video tutorial. If if I help you guys out, please give this video a like. If you have any questions, of course, please comment below or message me. Um, if you have, if you have any video tutorial request if you're having issues with something computer related windows computer related definitely contact me i will try to help you out as much as possible um... yeah so um, that's basically it 
Um, I also and will be getting into more album view corner videos within the next week or two weeks here. I want to put a video up. Um, and we'll get back into that game and do album reviews. So if you are interested in any of that stuff, uh, first time viewer of my channel, please subscribe. But you know, I try to put up videos whenever I uh, get, um, whenever I feel needed, whenever I have trouble with an issue such as I'm having here. So uh, that's it for this video tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, subscribe to my channel. Have a nice day. Bye bye.